Good morning, everyone. Beautiful day out there. And the first order of business on the agenda this morning is the executive director's report. Susan Barrett. Uh, just very briefly, I've announced this a couple of times. Uh, folks have probably heard this already, but I'll just announce it again. Next week, we are having Springfield Hospital in. Um, importantly, though, to announce that we'll be hearing um, their request for a budget amendment, a rate increase, as well as their enforcement hearing. And we have a potential vote scheduled that day for both of those items. Um, and the information on the rate increase is on our website, and it is open to public comment at this time. And then on May 29th, we'll be visiting Dan and his team at Gifford Hospital for our travel board meeting. Our uh, schedule for May will be on our website very soon. Thank you. Thank you. The next item on the agenda are the minutes of Wednesday, April 17th. Is there a motion? I'll move approval. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of Wednesday, April 17th without any additions, deletions, or corrections. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. So at this point, we're going to turn it over to Lori and we're going to walk through um, those hospitals that we have already heard on enforcement and uh, begin to make some decisions. So, Lori, whenever you're ready. Hi, Lori Perry from the Hospital Budget Team, and uh, we're presenting on enforcement delivery, deliberation for the fiscal year 2018. Um, we, you saw this slide before in previous presentations about the enforcement mechanism that was in our guidance for fiscal year 18. The portion on the bottom, we wanted to um, mention the FY 2020 budget guidance for hospitals with actual fiscal year 2018 and projected fiscal year 2019 NPR FPP that is at least 2% below budgeted NPR FPP. The GMCB expects NPR FPP and expenses in the fiscal year 2020 budget submission to align with the hospital's actual fiscal year 2018 and projected fiscal year 2019 results. For these hospitals, the GMCB would not expect to see NPR FPP more than 5% greater than projected FY 2019 NPR FPP unless there is a clear explanation and documentation describing why a larger increase in NPR FPP is justified. For hospitals with projected FY 2019 NPR FPP that is greater than budgeted, the GMCB would not expect to see FY 2020 NPR FPP greater than 3.5% unless clearly justified. We had enforcement hearings for um, Copley, Northwestern, North Country, Gifford, and Mount Scutton. And as Susan mentioned, we will be um, presenting Springfield next week. Staff recommend no rebasis. The board should consider the following factors. Fiscal year 2020 budget guidance will take into consideration FY 2019 projections hospital's historical operating margin, specific causes of variance considered to be short-term, and then staff recommend continued monthly monitoring of hospitals through reporting, and some hospitals will be required to provide in-person updates to GMCB staff. The first one for deliberation is Copley Hospital and we presented the operating performance for the fiscal year 18 year in budget to actual variance was negative 2.6 percent Act to actual variance was a 1.9 percent there they are currently for fiscal year 2019 as of february budget to actual variance is a negative 4.9 percent actual to actual is a 1.8 percent the next section is their operating margins for the last few years. 
And we are expecting enforcement discussion and then staff recommendation is no enforcement, including no rebates. Expectation is hospital will comply with the fiscal year 2020 budget guidance. We will have a monitoring discussion of the recommendations and a vote. For Northwestern. I, I think uh, it might be good if we take them one at a time. One at a time, good. So um, the recommendation from staff has been no enforcement um, with no rebates. And uh, the expectation is the compliance with the fiscal year 2020 budget guidance. The only addition to that that I would hope whoever would make a motion would add is that uh, this is a hospital that um, has already been communicating with us on a monthly basis. Our has been very good at keeping me informed of where they stand, uh, especially uh, with the balance that uh, they're working through there um, due to the, the health of one of their key performers. So uh, I would hope that we could add that uh, it's put that into an official board motion that those monthly discussions continue since we know that art will be leaving it shortly over a month. So, would someone like to make a motion? Thank you. <laughs> okay. um, I'd like to make a motion for Copley Hospital that we have um, no, that there's no rebase and that the hospital comes in for monthly um, updates either in person or um, by sending in reports. Or by phone. Or by phone. I'll second that. Can I just ask a clarifying question? Yes. When you say come in, are you talking about come in to meet with staff or report meetings? Or? No, we're, we're basically, uh, what, what's, what's been happening is that the CEO um, and sometimes the CFO have a meeting with myself and whoever the head of the, the hospital budget team is at that time. And that could also occur by phone. And for example, uh, Dan, who's in the room, has been doing that. And uh, you know, I think uh, I know I really appreciate our monthly check-ins. So I think that's a, a good thing. So not a no. Not a no. So, uh, Mr. General Counsel, uh, do I open it up for a public comment? Uh, yeah, I think we should proceed as motion, second, board discussion, public comment. Okay. Is there is there board discussion? As I said last, I think it was last week, maybe it was earlier this week. <laughs> um, uh, Copley is one of the hospitals that I am concerned about because of uh, the, they have so much turnover in their leadership and because of their historical performance. So I think this is great, um, especially uh, ensuring that we're communicating monthly and keeping an eye on how things are going. So I think this is a good way to go. Anything else from the board? Tom? <clears throat> I uh, share in Robin's ob observation, I, I would note that uh, the year 2019 budget is now 6% over the 2018 actuals, um, which is, I think, a stretch. Um, and uh, their, if you look at their five-year trends, uh, their NPR growth has been 2.5% and, and their expense growth has been 4.9%. So there's kind of a structural um, uh, separation there. But on the other hand, um, they have, have been in a transition of, in terms of for their senior medical staff. Uh, and, uh, um, and so it, it's you know, a lot of the variance you know, can be assigned uh, to uh, those transitions. Um, and I do know that, that they did um, uh, add a social worker to the emergency room, which seems to be um, reducing uh, the demand for emergency room services, which is uh, consistent with the old care model. Uh, expectations. So, uh, I think the recommendation to staff is, is appropriate. Um, I'll just add to what Tom was saying. Um, Tom, I'd also say that through February, their budget to actual variance is down about 5%. And so, that would mean when they come in for 2020, 
budget, they would be expected to be no more than flat with their current budget um, without going through some extenuating circumstances, which they do have, and they may be able to show us that, um, you know, should their staffing change in orthopedics and the orthopedics come back, then they may need more than that. But without, that, without showing that, the way that the guidance works, they would be only able to come in flat to budget. So that's one reason why not rebasing them. And with that, we would expect their expenses to be in line as well. Anything else from the board? If not, at this time, I'll open it up to public comments on the Copley decision. Seeing none. All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. So next, Northwestern. All right. Northwestern. Northwestern's budget to actual variance for fiscal year 18 was negative 2.6%. Actual to actual change was 2.2%. And they are for fiscal year 2019 as of February, budget to actual variance is a negative 1.7%. Actual to actual change is 5.6%. And again, we're presenting the operating margins from 2014 through their budget 2019. The enforcement discussion is going to, is what we will be having today, of course, and then staff recommends no enforcement, including rebase. Expectation is hospital will comply with fiscal year 2020 budget guidance. Then we were asking about monitoring discussions, any other recommendations, and then your vote. So one of the things that I would suggest on the monitoring discussion that we heard about their um, plan to um, reduce expenses over time, and it, it might be a good part of if anybody's making the motion to include a monthly update. This one, I think, could even be in writing on the progress on their uh, implementation plan. This is one of the hospitals that, um, over the last five years, was tied for the, the highest growth in expenses. And think that they correctly um, set a laser focus on trying to reduce costs so you know I applaud them for that and, uh, I would hope that a motion would include just a, a monthly uh, update on the progress of how that is going um, I would add to that if we're going to get a monthly update then you know have it be more encompassing than just to include the implementation plan but you know, also just the status of where they are against their budget in top line as well. Yeah, the only reason why I didn't mention that is we're getting monthly reporting, so we'll see that anyways. But All not up. updates. We're not getting forecasts necessarily. True. Yeah. Does anybody wish to make a motion? Sure. Um, I'll make a motion that for Northwestern, um, there's no enforcement to, and no rebase. Um, the expectation would be there would be monthly reports to include um, updates on their implementation plan for cost savings, um, as well as updates on the status of their NPR and operating margin um, each month. I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. Is there discussion from the board? I would say, uh, similar to Copley, that um, <clears throat> there is, the, the motion is, is a good motion, um, and that uh, Northwestern does have uh, some steep uh, yeah. um, hills to climb, I think, in term, um, if I'm looking at the numbers right, if you look at their 2019 budget relative to their uh, 2019 actual NPR, <laughs> Two percent increase. I'm and, sorry, and I missed the number. Original. How much? Tom, got it back up. She can speak clearly. It's how clearly. much of an increase? I, I missed the number. Say it again. Nine point two. Not nine point two. I'm sorry. Um, and their original budget expectation was for a thirteen percent increase in in their commercial payer. Um, so, but I, you know, I've I've been to the hospital twice and met with Jill and her staff, and it is a very competent staff. I'm absolutely certain that uh, the trend that the chair uh, mentioned in terms of a, a, a five-year trend being you know, at, at the top can be uh, erected and uh, um, 
will exit uh, the budget season of 2020 on, on a solid path. Yeah, I would just add that um, they're currently down through February negative 1.7 percent, and so if they stayed at this rate, then they would not fall into being two percent below, um, and they would be able to be at three and a half percent over budget. Um, you know, the other piece is five percent over if they were down more than two percent. So, you know, right now they would be trending to um, be in compliance with less than two percent. Other board comments or discussion? Seeing none, Jill, would you like to say anything? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> yes, Jeff. Um, I just had a quick um, sort of clarifying question, which is that this is now potentially the second motion where a requirement has been added for a monthly discussion. And while I'm fully in support of those monthly discussions, and clearly they're productive for both parties, I just think it might be helpful to get clarification on how long that expectation would last um, and if it could be revisited at some point if the hospital's performance uh, was in a different place uh, based on the board's assessment. So I think that we're, I hate to say this, close enough to uh, the next budget season. So I think that it, in my mind it would be in place until that August presentation. At that time, we would have to assess whether or not uh, it would continue. <coughs> Great, thank you. Uh, and just to clarify, I, I thought this one was in writing, this one? Or yes, is it? Okay. this one was in writing. I thought that was in writing. Okay, yeah. thank you. But you can feel free to call me anytime, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be happy to. <laughs> Any other discussion? If not, those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. The next one is North Country. North Country. They are fiscal year 2018 year end. Budget to actual variance was a negative 3.4%. Actual to actual percent change was a negative 0.4%. Year to date February for fiscal year 2019, budget to actual variance is a negative 2.6%. Actual to actual percent change is 1.5%. And we're presenting their operating margins from 2014 through their budget 2019. Um, staff recommends no enforcement, including no rebates. Expectation is hospital will comply with fiscal year 2020 budget guidance. We're asking um, what are your thoughts on monitoring and any other recommendations in any vote. Lori, um, this is one of the, the hospitals that we still hadn't received the uh, 2018 audit on. Right, is that still the case? We have it. You do have it? Okay. We just received it last week. Okay. And again, this is the, the hospital that's struggling with the change in IT. So. Is there any motion? I'm sorry. Oh, do they come in? <laughs> Um, they don't necessarily come in monthly, but they, they do talk with us monthly. Yeah. Um, so I'll make a motion that um, there's no enforcement on North Country, um, no rebase, and that they continue monthly discussions um, either via in writing, phone, or in person with GMC based staff. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Is there other board discussions or questions? If not, is there any public comment or discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, Gifford. Gifford's fiscal year and 18, budget to actual variance was a negative 17.9%. Actual to actual percent change was a negative 10.1%. Currently, for fiscal year 2019, as of February, budget to actual variance is a negative 10%. Actual to actual percent change is a negative 1.5%. Again, we're showing you their operating margins from 2014 through their budget of 2019. Staff recommends no enforcement, including rebates. Expectation is hospital will comply with this year 2020 budget guidance. And what is your monitoring discussion? Any other recommendations in your vote? Okay, would anyone 
like to make a motion? Sure. Um, motion for Gifford Medical Center, uh, no enforcement, including no rebase, um, continuation of monthly uh, in-person phone or written reports um, per the per guidance from GMP staff. Been moved and seconded. Is there board discussion? Um, yeah, this this hospital uh, certainly looks like it's going to fall within needing adjustments um, to their NPR based on only being able to be up five percent from where they're trending. Um, so when they come in for the budget discussions. In August, we're going to really want to make sure that we have an update, uh, not only what they have, will have submitted, which would have probably been through April actuals, but you know where are they trending for the year? Because right now they're 10% under, so to the extent they will only be allowed to be up 5% above where they're trending, um, you know this is is the, one of the hospitals that really falls into that category. Um, and they're only allowed to get 5% without justifying why they would need anything more than that. So I would expect this hospital to end up having a budget to budget in 2020 that will be below um, their 2019 budget. Tom? I would add to that that um, uh, Gifford's uh, efforts um, have been uh, aggressive over the past five years where they've had a negative 4.3 percent trend in NPR and in expenses and a negative 1.9 percent so my uh, sympathies in that I, I think Gifford must feel like a Sisyphus pushing a rock up the hill that uh, they never get to the top but um, uh, I think the process that we've set forward um, uh, is a good one and uh, it's a very uh, steep climb for uh, Gifford and I would make one note that um, their bad debt is at 5.2% of NPR, where, and the system average is 3%, so maybe there's some small opportunity in that, in that corner of their finances, um, but I support the motion. Other comments or questions from the board? Seeing none, uh, we'll open up the public comment. Dan, did you wish to say anything? I think we said it all. Thank you for your... Uh, Okay. Does anyone else wish to offer any public comment? Seeing none, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Mm -hmm. Tom Stepney. The last one for today, Tom Stepney. Fiscal year 2018 year end budget to actual variance <clears throat> and then operating performance was 4.4%. Their actual, actual percent change was 5.3%. The 2019 year to date February uh, budget to budget variance was negative 1.7%. Actual to actual percent change is 2.3%. And we're showing their operating margins from 2014 <coughs> to budget 2019. Staff recommends no enforcement based on their past and current operating performance. We're asking for your monitoring discussion, other recommendations, and your vote. Okay, any questions for Lori? Lori? Well, I guess just on the monitoring discussion on this one, whether or not we would require them to, to have monthly updates or not. Um, I don't think they need to, but we defer to Kevin to talk about whether he's had discussions with them um, I think really the information that we need to see is already in that monthly reporting, so I don't see the need for any additional monitoring at this time. Lori, would you agree with that? I would agree because we ask for all hospitals to give us any concerns they have in a narrative form every single month, all the hospitals. Would someone who wish to make a motion? Sure. Um, the motion for Madison Scutney uh, would be no inf no enforcement um, and no further action. Second. It's been moved and seconded. Is there board discussion? 
sorry, I'd just like to comment. I mean, they were up 4.4% um, on their NPR year over year, but I think one of the reasons that um, we're not looking, or I'm not looking for any enforcement is they've been a hospital that has been performing um, negatively for operating margin for the past several years, and they are just finally getting, you know, to a point in 2018 where they were at 1.9% in operating margin, and we're seeing in 2020, I'm sorry, 2019, that they're running negative to date. So um, this is a hospital we need to continue to watch as far as their performance for operating margin. Um, and they also have the variable of Dartmouth and how much money Dartmouth might put into the system. Um, so that's another variable we'll be looking to see what happens in 2019. Okay, anything else from the board? Is there any public comment? If not, all those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> Thank you, Lori. You're welcome. So we just have one more, and that will be uh, next Wednesday morning. Uh, afternoon? Actually, it's oh. next, uh, next Wednesday at 1 p.m. 1 o'clock. Yes. Here. <laughs> The rescheduled one was in the morning, so <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. I don't want to confuse anybody. I'm confused enough myself. Is there any old business to come before the board? Is there any new business to come before the board? If not, hopefully everybody will enjoy the uh, rest of this Good Friday and we'll see that beautiful weather this morning because I understand we're in for a little bit of water later. <laughs> Is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Second. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you, everyone.